In this video, we will discuss about Wilson disease. Wilson disease is basically related to the liver or we can say the hepatocytes that are usually found in the tissue of livers and what problems uh, that leads and what is the problem that leads to this Wilson disease is the mutation of this gene that is ATP7B or adenosine triphosphate copper transporting beta gene. So this figure compares the functioning of normal liver with the Wilson liver. Wilson uh, disease or in the condition in which ATP 7B gene is not functioning properly. So we will first understand the normal functioning of this liver, how it works. Uh, so this whole functioning is uh, happen within the hepatocytes uh, or which is found in the liver tissue. So what happens is that uh, this ATF7B is produced uh, within the hepatocytes and after it reaches the trans Golgi region uh, what uh, its function is its function is to uh, transport the copper uh, to the bile uh, that is usually the alkaline fluid produced by the liver and uh, it is stored in the gall bladder and its function is to digest the fatty acid or uh, digest the food and the copper uh, that might come within the uh, hepatocytes is from the blood circulation so in the normal functioning what happens is that it's ATP 7B helps in transport of this copper to the bile uh, which uh, is the fluid that is produced which is the alkaline fluid that is produced for digestion and is stored in the gallbladder so and uh, what happens in case of Wilson disease in case of Wilson disease the ATP 7B is uh, mutated or is no longer functioning normally because of this there is an increase in the amount of copper within the uh, hepatocytes however uh, uh, Wilson disease patients is not been able uh, Wilson disease patient uh, it has been found that uh, the cell that is not occurred, uh, big, uh, cell that is not occurred in hepatocyte, and uh, however, uh, people were expected that because of the increase in the amount of copper, the uh, cell that might occur. Uh, so there is a research that is conducted to find out the reason for this, and they have find out that increase in the amount of copper will lead to or will trigger this autophagy uh, pathway. And this autophagy pathway uh, will autophagy uh, pathway will uh, take care of this uh, excess copper uh, that is uh, present within the hepatos hepatocytes. So, what has been found that in the case of Wilson disease, the uh, autophagy pathway has been uh, found to be upregulated compared to the normal cell. And one more uh, point that they have supported for this is that the transport of this mTOR uh, transcription factor in the nucleus in case of Wilson disease whereas in case of normal disease because of the excess copper that is present within the uh, hepatocyte because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, because of the uh, this copper uh, is continuously transporting out of the liver the mTOR signaling pathway is continuously present within the uh, lysosome whereas in case of this uh, Wilson disease what happens is that because there is no copper that is present with uh, the transport outside the uh, hepatocytes the, this will lead to uh, transfer of this mTOR from this lysosome into the nucleus that will trigger more uh, it will trigger the upregulation of the genes that are responsible for autophagy. So these things are uh, find out uh, in the research. And if you need to understand uh, this research in details, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. So uh, this is uh, one of the uh, this is uh, one of the reason that people have find out. Uh, um, against the reasoning that uh, in the Wilson disease there is no there is uh, less there is 
no cell that occur because of excess cop uh, copper present within the hepatocytes and however uh, the autophagism has been seen more in case of the cytoplasm of this hepatocyte of this Wilson disease uh, compared to the normal condition or the wild type condition and this has been tested both in the patients that are infected with Wilson disease and also in the mice uh, with the gene knockout of this ATP 7B. If you need to understand uh, this thing in details you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. I hope you have understood uh, something about Wilson disease and how it is related to overloading of the copper within the hepatocytes. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.